In this event, Rude Awakening begins best from the outside draw. This is this Bernardini filly at her first start. This is a spring two-year-old. This against the Colts and Geldings, and she wins impressively, beating Orbity, who is now a dual-listed winner. And the third-placed Zaragoza is Group 3-placed. Rude Awakening at her first start. Wide and behind these crooked still, then secret agent Francis, and further back, uh, the, the next one then is Desert View down to the 250. Rude Awakening giving a sight here. Orbity being called upon about two lengths away, then Zaragoza, secret agent, and Desert View. But it's Rude Awakening scampering away with 100 metres to go, and Rude Awakening is uh, going to go on a score very nicely. Second over as they went across was Orbity, followed over then by Zaragoza. In this race, she is in behind the leaders again in the blue with the white bridle. This was her second start. It came in the listed Wellesley Stakes over 1,000 metres or five furlongs at Trentham. Again against the Colts and Geldings. Rude Awakening at her second start. Of Mossimo. Rude Awakening. She's out for a look now. She's had every chance as she comes at them, and Charlestown comes at them as well. And then Dancer's Tail, 200 metres to go. She grabbed a bit now, did Rude Awakening. She found a length and a half. Charlestown, Precious Sophia's flying home with Dancer's Tail for the Miners. Oh, she's good. Rude Awakening for the Wesley Wellesley Stakes. And has raced away to score. She's taken the next step. She's a Bernardini filly. In this race, Rude Awakening is last on the outside and showing she's not one-dimensional this day. And she gets home strongly in this listed event behind the other brilliant filly in Bounding. So Rude Awakening running second to Bounding at her third start. Towards a home turn, 500 metres to go. My Volk's the leader, a length clear from Bounding, cruised up alongside. A length and a half away now, Rude Awakening down the outside has been popped. The question is starting to warm up. Battling on also Zaragoza, then Eastern Dragon Asher down to the 200 metres. It's Bounding the leader, Rude Awakening putting up some run on the effort on the outside, but Bounding, Bounding kicked again from Rude Awakening, then Zaragoza and Eastern Dragon bounding in front from a very game, Rude Awakening bounding, bounding won it from Rude Rude Awakening, third over was Zaragoza. Well, the two favourites, as everyone anticipated, fought out the finish, but the start, the start was the uh, turning point. Rude Awakening's target for the season was always the Karaka Million. This was her fifth start. The run prior to this, she had also won impressively, carrying 59 kilos or 132 pounds. Rude Awakening at her fifth run in the Karaka Million. Here, who's back third last here back towards the tail dancer's tail and with it also a beautiful night up to the corner they come in the Karaka Million the two year olds dash for the cash and Rude Awakening the leader led by a length and a half now from on the outside of it is Gateway two links away Precious Sophia Touche starting to wind up so is Gobi Ranger in behind them then we've got for a fantastic honour at the 200 metres Rude Awakening shot away by three links from in second spot, fantastic honour, then came Touche, but Rude Awakening has awoken from the bed and she's bolted into the Karaka Million. Rude Awakening beat fantastic honour, second up. Oh, she was a mile too good. In the Karaka Million, number nine, Rude Awakening, Craig Williams, he let her down at the 250, she said goodbye to them. They've got the big one, the Karaka Million, and they had it parceled up a long way from home. Rude Awakening, the winner of New Zealand's richest horse race, the Karaka Million. Rude Awakening's next start came in the Group 1 Diamond Stakes, and she leads this day again over arch rival Bounding. And these two terrific fillies come away from the opposition with Rude Awakening making it five wins from six starts in the Diamond Stakes. Diamond Stakes, 450 metres to go, and Rude Awakening, the leader, led by a length now from Bounding. Two lengths away, Repulse Bay, Al Strata coming out after them. Further back then is Zaragoza and Girl of My Dreams, Rude Awakening being shaken up by Boston. Bounding is trying hard about a length away. Two lengths away, Al Strata, then Repulse Bay, it's Rude Awakening. A length and a half clear from Bounding, then Al Strata. Further back, Girl of My Dreams. Ah, oh, you can wake me any time you want to, baby. Rude Awakening won the great one brilliantly. And uh, like the good horses do, she accelerated. Bounding never gave it away. She was game and defeat. But they ran a very fast 108.78 in that race. And beating Bounding, who has now won 7 of 11 as a Group 1 winner. And it was just beaten in a Group 2 race in Sydney at the most recent carnival. Rude Awakening was obviously 
Crown Champion two-year-old. She campaigned in Australia at the start of her three-year-old season, ran some good races and then finished off with a strong third in a Group 3 in New Zealand before spelling. A quality correct filly, just under 16 hands high by Bernardini out of a Danehill mare.